What is up my friends? I got the sun in my eyes and I can't see anything. Let me start this over. What's up my friends? So, today is the day I'm going to work on my motorcycle. I have to get that thing back on the road because I'm just itching to get it. I got to get it on a motorcycle. So right now I'm headed back to Tyler's. We're going to work on the bike in his shop for the rest of the day. It's noon right now so I should have plenty of time to get the whole project done today. I'm hoping so because I need to get this bike on the road because I'm just dying to be back on my motorcycle and I gotta do stuff and I can't because I don't have my motorcycle. Hopefully I can get it done today and we'll go from there. So I'll see you when I get to Tyler's. Boom! Alright, here we go. Oop. Oh my goodness. Where does that Tyler do? Whoops, blowing my coffee all over the place. What's up, dude? There's the man right there. I'm hoping to get my motorcycle completely finished it's, today. It's it's gonna happen. <laughs> I think you're I think you're all set. You think so? I think you're I have my doubts about it because it's kind of like a very unprofessional job that I'm doing. No. Yeah. No. I don't know how it's gonna go. We're gonna try it. What is it? Almost one o'clock. We got plenty of time. Back in the shop. There's the motorcycle. I see it leaked some more oil. Well, oh, man. <laughs> I see your problem. Your, your plug fell out. <laughs> oh, my cork didn't work. I thought that was going to solve the whole issue. <laughs> Put a cork in it. All right, guys. So I laid out everything that I'm going to use for this project just because if somebody else has the same issue, I'd like you guys to know how to do it. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work, but this is just what I'm doing and this is my experience with it. So I got everything laid out. This is what I'm gonna do. Let me turn the camera around. All right guys, so here's everything laid out. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make yourself a whole pot of coffee because you're gonna need it. First thing on the actual motorcycle, I'm gonna take brake and parts cleaner and I'm just gonna just kind of wash around the area I'm gonna be putting the epoxy on. I'm gonna take a used t-shirt and just kind of rub it and just try and clean it up as much as possible. And then I'm gonna use alcohol to clean up the rest of it. And it's gonna kinda of dry it a little bit and hopefully get rid of the excess fabric or whatever might be on the aluminum before I do anything. And then I'm gonna take a blow dryer to it. So that's gonna also help to get rid of any other junk that's on it. Because like I said before, if there's anything on the area, there might be a, some trouble with the epoxy. So I gotta make sure it's really clean. I'm taking those three steps. A friend of mine told me to do that and I think it's a very good idea to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then after that's said and done, I'm gonna use the Dremel. So I'm gonna use this bit I think. It's just a rotary file and I have some grinding stones too. That should help to kind of rough up the area that I'm gonna be putting the epoxy on, give it something to stick to and make it so there's no smooth parts because if there's a smooth part on it, it's probably not gonna stick very well and the epoxy won't work as well. After that, I'm gonna clean it again. So I'll probably go back to step one, clean the whole area again, make sure there's no fibers, no metal shavings, nothing. And then after that, it's time to finally use the JB Weld, which apparently is a miracle cure because a lot of people use it for a lot of different things. I'm hoping it's gonna work. If it doesn't, you guys will find out. But I think, I have my doubts about this whole situation just because it's such a tricky place to, to fix. But, I don't know, I, I, it might work. I'm just gonna say that. So I'm gonna take these steps. I'm gonna get working on the bike right now. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message or email me or comment or whatever you guys want. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get right into it and let's go. All right guys, so I'm gonna try and show you underneath the bike exactly what I'm gonna be putting the epoxy on, what I need to fix, what I need to patch up, just so you, so you guys can get a feel of what I'm working with. Hey look, it's Tyler. What's up? Hey. All right, so this is it right here. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but you can see right here, there was two chunks taken out of it. Two huge chunks of aluminum. So that's pretty much what I just need to put the epoxy on. That's the area I'm gonna clean and yeah, hopefully when I put the epoxy on and it hardens, it'll be able to create a good seal for the drain plug and I will have no leaks. That's the idea. What do you think, Tyler? Is it gonna work? I think it's gonna work. Tyler thinks it's gonna work. Confident it's gonna work. He's confident it's gonna work. I think you might have more confidence than me. I think positive, dude. 
got to think positive. You're right. It's going to work. Of course it's going to work. So I forgot to tell you guys what I'm going to use to plug the, the hole where the drain plug goes because we can't get any sawdust or metal shavings or anything up inside there. So what I came up with is I cut a cork in half and I kind of wired a paper clip up through it and back down so that I can have something to pull it out with. And yeah, I'm just gonna plug it with this and hopefully that uh, secures it enough so no shavings or anything gets stuck up inside the crankcase because again, that would not be good. So yeah, I'm just gonna plug this up there and I'm gonna get the blow dryer out and we're gonna go from there. Always wear your safety glasses. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> All right, let's see what it looks like now. Hope you guys can see it on the camera. I uh, polished it up a little bit. I didn't polish it, I kind of roughed it up. But yeah, that's what it looks like now. And I'm gonna clean it again with some breaking parts cleaner, some isopropyl alcohol, and after that, I should be good to put the epoxy on. Epoxy on? Nope. Isopropyl alcohol? <laughs> Isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> All right, so I got the JB Weld, and now I'm just gonna make two lines, equal parts, and mix it together, and then it should be good to put on the motorcycle, so that's what I'm gonna do. Woo, exciting. I did clean this surface, by the way, in case you're wondering. So now, I'm just gonna mix it together with a popsicle stick, and we should be golden. All right, we got that all set up, so I'm just gonna slap it on pretty quickly, because I'm not really sure how long it takes to or how long you're supposed to wait, but I'm just gonna try it. All right guys, so I just finished up putting the JB welds around the area that I wanted to fix. And it turns out JB Weld is actually pretty hard to deal with. So it took a lot of time for me to sculpt it into the shape that I wanted it pretty much. But this is what it looks like now. I'll show you guys. So yeah, that's what it looks like. In a day or so when it hardens, I'm gonna kinda trim it and make sure it's flush with the, what's up Tyler? Make sure it's flush with the the aluminum that's on there. So that's that's what's up right now. All right, man. So I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Probably 24 hours. I'll be back here to check up on that thing over there. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it's gonna work. It's Fingers gonna work. crossed, man. It's gonna work. You think so? Yeah, it's gonna work. I don't know. Okay. okay, all right. See you in 24 hours, man. See you. See ya. And you too. Just like that, we're back here again. Here in the motorcycle shop. Uh, I'm gonna check the JB Weld, see what, uh, what it looks like after it's cured, and go from there. So let's check it out and put my stuff down. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. It looks like it had a slight sagging problem. Don't you hate that? But yeah, I, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. It looks like I'm gonna have to kind of trim it up and then maybe reapply some more to kind of smooth it out a little bit. That's what I'm thinking right now. 
All right, guys, so I have a grinding stone right here. I'm gonna use this in the Dremel, and I'm just gonna kind of shave away the excess that kind of drooped over and is not where I want it to be on the aluminum. And after that, I'll probably take some sandpaper and kind of put some finishing touches on it. And after that, I should be good to put some more JB Weld on. So that's what I'm gonna do, yeah. All right, so again, we gotta wait 24 hours for this thing to cure, and I will see you tomorrow. And you too, again. See ya, Tyler. See ya. I'm back at Tyler's place. We're gonna check the motorcycle, see if it holds oil because there's nothing else I can do at this point. And yeah, all I need to do, put the filter on, and take it down the road, see if it uh, if it leaks or not. What do you think? It, I, I think I think it's good. I yep, I don't know. There's only one thing left to do. Start it up and see what happens. I still have my fingers crossed because there's still a chance it could go wrong, but we gotta we gotta find out here. So let's let's try it. All right, now I'm just gonna wait for it to get up to temperature and uh, continue watching my patch job. Oh, is that blinking? <laughs> okay, it's on. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I feel like I'm gonna go down the road. It's gonna start leaking, but here we go. It's gonna be it. Is there a big puddle underneath me? <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I'm back on this thing. Ah! <laughs> oh, where am I gonna go? Oh, I'm excited. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not out of the woods yet, but after this next stop, I will know for sure. It's been, it's at temperature right now, and it's been, uh, it's been a little while, so now should be a good time to find out if this is going to work. Oh. All right. Let's check it. Nice flat surface right here. Oh yeah, nothing. <laughs> yes! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta do a little dance. Yes! Yes! No leaks, man! Perfect! Ah! Uh, uh. I love it, I love it. <laughs> oh man. You have no idea how happy I am. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. All right, so this is probably a good spot to end this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching me repairing this motorcycle. It's going great right now, I'm so excited. And yeah, be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. New videos every week, every Tuesday, every Saturday. Thank you, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye. Ah.